This is On with Mario Lopez. Hey, it's Mario Lopez joining me on the phone, the greatest selling female artist of all time, the beautiful and talented Mariah Carey. How are you? I'm so good, darling. How are you? I'm well. I've been seeing you everywhere uh, lately, and I, I'm, I'm excited about it because we're seeing all these different sides of you. I've been a fan for a long time that I don't think a lot of people have seen uh, before, and I'm really looking forward to your Vegas residency. Big night for you. It's kicking off tonight. Uh, what do you have in store for everyone, Mariah? <laughs> well, um, first of all, thank you, and I hope to see you at some point if you decide to come to Vegas I would be honored to have you at my show. Oh, awesome. Um, what do I, no, really, for real, I would be so happy. Um, it's, it's basically, the, the theme is number one to infinity, so it's, it goes in chronological order from Vision of Love, my first number one record, um, and then we take everything all the way to, like, the, um, well, Touch My Body, which is number 18 of the number ones, and um, then I come out and do, like, I haven't decided, I mean, it's not to infinity because I have a song infinity, but um, I also might like throw a few other surprises in there for this go around, or at least definitely by the time we do the August shows. I love hearing you talk about these songs, and I totally remember where I was when I first heard uh, Vision of Love, and you were in that black dress, and I can't believe, it's unbelievable uh, the number... Uh, <laughs> you're hitting, remember that? But, but the the, uh, all the number one hits, it's my God, the catalog. You have stayed uh, so hot and relevant for, my gosh, such a long period of time, which is so difficult to do for artists. And you write so many uh, of your own hits. How do you pick what goes in your set? Well, and for particularly for the Vegas set, like it's, it's different than I just did a show. Um, I called it a Sweet Sweet Fantasy Tour, and it was really just for Europe and, and Africa. Um, and so for that, I could kind of do whatever I wanted and, you know, do, pick different songs that were, like, a little bit more, like, obscure. But for the Vegas show, it's all number one records, so that's kind of the theme. Wow. And that's why it's number one to infinity. So it's, you know, it's funny because we'll be working on stuff, and we'll be like, well, what what's the next song after that? And normally I'd have to go look it up, but it's, literally like my life in chronological order yeah. so i'm like oh well you know it's fantasy so the next one must be once we day because like right. you know that's <laughs> how it happens you know what I mean? Oh, that's cool. So it's it's cool. kind of interesting. I've never done it before, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, what a treat for the fans. And are there any particular songs that uh, you just don't want to perform anymore? I got to imagine like the ending of Emotions can't be easy. That's that's a workout. That is a workout indeed. And I also do like a an, an intro to that song that's kind of like inspired by one of the remixes from back in the day and it's like a like a just kind of like a slower I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a soulful type of thing, a cappella. Well, it's sort of with me and the piano. Yeah. Um, my musical director, Big Jim Wright. So, like, I love to do moments like that. Um, like, you know, we do something different with Thank God I Found You. It's really hard to, to do all of the songs. So I kind of, like, you know, do some of them a little bit differently. But for the most part, I know it's for the fans that want to hear those records that, like, they have memories of or they grew up with or whatever it is. So... I, you know, we keep in the chronological order. I, I, I do the song Infinity, but, like, I also want to do, like, little moments that'll just be, like, you know, surprise the fans. So, well, you know, hopefully people have enjoyed it because the last time, last go-around was really amazing audience, you know, different audiences and just people from all over the world and you know, around the country. So it, it's, like, you know, it's fun for me to meet the different fans and perform the songs for them. Yeah, guaranteed awesome show. Well, I, I can't wait. Definitely going to take you up on that and, and check it out in Vegas. And, and in addition to that, Mariah, you're doing the Essence Festival this summer, July 2nd in New Orleans. Half a million people attending. Uh, what, what do you like about these big festivals? What's your favorite part? You know what? It's so interesting. Cause I, I mean, like, every audience is, is different, but I'm, I'm going to do a totally different show for the Essence Fest because I'm not sure, like, exactly which songs I want to do yet and I want to do like I definitely have to you know we always want to do the crowd pleasers and the hits that everybody knows but I think I can do like maybe some more of the remixes and maybe have some special guests so it should be um, like a lot of fun for me and for like everybody that's on stage with me and hopefully the audience which would be the most important thing yeah yeah so that's, ex that's exciting for me well, I'll tell you what else is exciting. Mariah's World premiering on E! this month. What made you agree to have uh, cameras uh, follow you around and want to document you? I, I, I think it's, uh, it's going to be cool. 
Well, <laughs> it's actually going to be very interesting. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to document the tour because I did this tour, as I was saying, you know, before the Sweet Sweet Fantasy Tour, and I haven't toured Europe in, like, over 10 years, so I really never properly documented any of my other tours. And so I was like, I don't know when I'm going to do this again. Let me just make sure we get this. And um, E wanted to do something, and I was like, I definitely don't want to do, like, a traditional any type of a reality thing, but I would definitely do like something more like edgy and documentary and, and, and interesting. So like, you know, I think people are going <laughs> to enjoy it, but it's, um, you kind of, um, you kind of got to, I think you guys got a hint of what I'm talking about. It's slightly unconventional. Did anybody see Jimmy Kimmel? Yes. The night when we got in the, when yeah. you when you got in the tub with clothes on, and by the way, I can totally relate. Cause I remember you said something like, as your kids get a little bit older, they start noticing stuff. And I, my, my little girl, I no longer take showers. Like, you know how it's easy sometimes you throw the kids in the shower and you all bathe at the same time just to be quick yeah. about it. I no longer do that because they start noticing right. and pointing stuff out and you're like, uh-uh. <laughs> no, no, I know. I've never actually, I've always been like, no, I'll put on like some clothes or whatever. I don't want them to have any kind of memories that aren't just like right. <laughs> you know, fun and happy and whatever. They don't need to be traumatized right right (laughs) no i could i could relate to that and then uh mariah you also signed this this big deal with hallmark channel producing directing and starring in three films uh any idea what the first one's gonna be um i think well i don't want to i kind of don't want to say because i'm afraid somebody's gonna like steal the idea but it's it's uh it's gonna be something i mean they're very they love like a romantic comedy kind of moment and um, not necessarily comedy. For me, I like to, I want it to be fun as well. So, um, you know, it's something around the, the holidays, not not specifying which one, but the first one will be, you know, it's it's a challenge. I, I did one for them last last Christmas, which was like my, my directorial debut, but I've been doing the behind the scenes of videos for a really long time. So this was like, this is a great experience and it, it did really well for them. And so... I'm looking forward to it, and it's it's just it's this really cool thing, this pretty picture thing with them, and they're great to work with, and especially around the holidays, so it should be really nice. Looking forward to that. Uh, you're so busy these days, and uh, of course, the kids keep you busy. Uh, twins are what, about four years old now? Yeah. Well, they actually just turned five. Can you believe it? Oh, wow. That's quick. Man. And what are they into? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Minecraft. <laughs> so, and they call it and they call it they call it Minecraft. You know? <laughs> that's great. That's the great that you get yeah, you get the you get to have the best of uh, both worlds being a mom still doing your thing. So that, so that's awesome. And you got a wedding coming up too. Uh are the wedding plans set? Yeah. Have have you decided uh are you doing a big one, a small one? Well, it's I don't think it's going to be like a big kind of a thing because like He's not really into it. I mean, like, let's face it. This will be number three for me. I mean, we're not, like, <laughs> we have to, you know, I'm not going to come out there in, like, my little white dress and be like, here I am, married for the first time. It's not that. But <laughs> I, did do, I did do my fittings and my dress and all that stuff already, and, you know, we're figuring it out. Like, I honestly, like, we're, there's no reason to, like, rush to figure, to do something when you'd rather do it really nice and make it, you know, make it like a really beautiful moment yeah. so rather than like some big, huge wedding, which I don't, you know, it's not like about like publicity or whatever. It's just going to be like, you know, yeah, something that it's special, will be memorable and nice. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Mariah, congratulations on everything. I, I love seeing you everywhere and, and really look forward to checking out the show and uh, in Vegas. And speaking of which, you can get all the details on Mariah's Vegas residency and Mariah's world up at onwithmario.com. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to call in today, Mariah. I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mario. I can't. I really hope to see you soon. I really hope you too. Take me up on the offer to come out and like we'll have a good time. And I am. I'm totally going to do that because I've been on vocal rest. <laughs> but be such a welcome guest, and, and you know, always welcome. Oh well, you made my day. I really appreciate it. Thank you, honey. Take care. Okay, thank you so much. All right, bye. On with Mario Lopez. This is on with Mario Lopez. Hey, it's Mario Lopez joining me on the phone, the greatest selling female artist of all time, the beautiful and talented Mariah Carey. How are you?